Hi everyone, God bless you. If you are new, it's a great channel full of God's words, prophecies, word of knowledge, prayers. We have the whole of the Bible here on audio playlist, so please subscribe, touch the bell, and touch the like button so YouTube can promote our video to many people so they can be blessed. God bless you. So today we're going to look at three Bible verses that can take away anxiety and fear from you. Three Bible verses that can take away anxiety and fear from you. And the first one I want to look, there are more Bible verses, but looking at three today, maybe with time we can look at more in other videos. And the first one is Philippians 4, 6. Philippians 4, 6, it says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. What he's saying is that instead of you to be anxious for things, go into prayers, supplication, and thanksgiving. Use that one to replace your fear and anxiety. When anxiety comes to you, start praying, start making supplication. Hallelujah. Start thanking God. Hallelujah. Let your request be made known to God through all this. Through all this, thanking God, prayer, that, request, that fear you are about to start um, start in your life, that anxiety you are about to kick off, that is about to kick off, channel them into prayer. Pray about them to God. Make supplications and thank God for them. Hallelujah. Amen. That's, then under scripture we can look at is Isaiah. Isaiah 43. Isaiah has a lot of fear not, fear not, fear not. But I'm looking at Isaiah 43, verse and from verse 1. It says, But now this is what the Lord says He who created you, Jacob, He who formed you, Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you, I have summoned you by my name, you are mine. Yeah, it says, Jacob says, Is there with, today we that are Christians, we are not the Israelites of today. Hallelujah. We are nice people today. And he's talking to us. He said, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by your name. Hallelujah. You are mine. Hallelujah. I said, so, it's another scripture. God says you should not fear. So, do not be afraid. At all. When you look at that scriptures. So, do not be afraid at all. For... God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of sound mind. Praise God. So never you be afraid. Hallelujah. So look at one more scriptures. Let's look at Psalm 23, 4. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Praise God for the psalmist said. And of course, you can also say today, praise God. If the psalmist can say it, you, a Christian today, can say it. Read the scripture and you'll be bold. He says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, that means no matter what I walk through, no matter what fearful path I walk through, no matter what fearful thing come in the circumstances of life, say, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Why? Because God is with you. God is with you today. The way it was with the psalmist, is still with you today. You are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The rod and staff of God, they still comfort you today. Praise God. Hallelujah. So that the three scriptures I just came to share with you that can help you against anxiety and fear. There are other scriptures, a lot of them. With time, I will share them on that video. So, hope you are blessed by these scriptures. So, if you are new, subscribe, touch the bell, touch the like button so YouTube can promote this video to bless other people if you are not born again say this prayer after me say lord jesus today i accept you into my heart be my savior be my lord i believe you died for me and you were buried on the third day you rose up again from the dead thank you lord jesus for dying for me god in heaven thank you for sending your son to, to redeem me and save me thank you lord in jesus name
Amen. If that prayer was said by you, you are not born again. Go to start going to a church where God's word is being taught. Buy a Bible, search your Bible every time to see if what they are teaching you in the church is in line with the word of God. And stay here with us by subscribing, touching the bell, and click the like button so YouTube can promote the video to help other people hear the word of God. I'll see you next time. Bye.